Hola. Hola. Bienvenidos a Lightspeed Spanish. Bienvenidos. Today we are doing a test. Now the test is actually coming from our Perfecting the Past book. Levántalo, Cynthia. <laughs> Perfecting the Past, okay? So we're doing a test and we're going to be testing you on the use of was in the past, where we're choosing between the imperfect and the preterite, yeah? Okay. Very confusing for many people. Oof, absolutely. And if we're going to pitch it, it's probably about intermediate, yeah? Intermediate where you're starting to get the hang of the past, okay? Bien. Bien. Vale, entonces, empezamos en la segunda parte. Bien, Cintia. Aquí no hay espacio para, para tantos, Gordon. Tú y tus picaduras de mosquito, <ríe> o tú y yo. Estuvimos en Ávila, en un hotel de cuatro estrellas. Mejor dicho, un hotel de cuatro mosquitos. Y los cuatro mosquitos me estaban atacando en la cara. Que es gracioso, porque a mí no me, no me picaron. Lo sé. Y siempre me pican a mí. Lo sé. Tengo, te han picado a ti? Es porque tengo que empezar a comer ajo otra vez. Será, será eso. Con será el, ajo, el ajo no, 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 te, no te molestan. Ok, entonces vamos a empezar... No te molesta nadie con el ajo. <risa> no tiene ni amigos, ni, ni mosquitos, ni nada. Eh, vamos a empezar con la prueba. Hay 10 frases. Tenéis que traducir la frase. ¿vale? Nada más. Al, eh, al español, ¿no? Vale, pues eh, mejor la lees tú porque okay. bueno, están en, en inglés, okay. la mejor pronunciación que la mía. Yo voy a leer el inglés y Cintia sí. eh, os va a dar la respuesta en español. Muy bien. Ok. Número uno. I went to your house this morning, but you weren't there. Where were you? I went to your house this morning, but you weren't, where, you weren't there. Where were you? Entonces, Cintia, ¿cuál es la respuesta? Fui a tu casa. One es... time event, one time event, fui. Uh -huh. Esta mañana. Uh -huh. Sí. Pero no estabas allí. ¿Dónde estabas? Ok. Now, you might be wondering, hang on a minute. I went to your house this morning, you weren't there. Why ¿Dónde estabas? Well, to know that, it's best to actually look back in our videos because we explain it or get the book because the book explains it perfectly, okay? But when somebody isn't there, even if it's a precise time that they're not there, we're still using the imperfect, okay? ¿Dónde estabas? Yeah. Eso es. How did you do? Vale. Muy bien. Número dos. He was the mayor of the city. He was the mayor of the city. Cynthia. Ok, I would say, él era el alcalde de la ciudad, o del pueblo, because city could be also pueblo, I think. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. ¿Es Torrejón? ¿Torrejón ya es una ciudad? O, sí, una ciudad. Sí, una una ciudad. ciudad. Mm -hmm. Ok, so, él era el alcalde, ok. Sí. But... Mm -hmm. It could also be fue. It, de it depends. There would be a difference. But again, if I, if I, with no context, I would say era. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Muy bien. But if you, if you said fue, you're not incorrect. But you're only incorrect if you don't know why you've used fue. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Bien. Mm -hmm. Número tres. How was the party on Friday? It was really good, thanks. And we're, we're using estar and estar. So I would say, ¿qué tal estuvo la fiesta del viernes? Estuvo muy bien, gracias. Ok. Sí. So, estuvo, how was the party? Preterite, one-off party, one-off preterite, ok? Mm -hmm. And just out of interest, just bear that in mind that if somebody says, ¿qué tal estuvo la fiesta? You don't even have to think about it. It's a no-brainer. You just say, estuvo bien. 
you don't have to change the verb. Typically, if somebody uses estuvo, you're going to use estuvo as well. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Because como fue la fiesta would be the verb to go. How did it go? How did Instead it go? Instead of how was. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Okay. Numero cuatro. The door was locked and I couldn't get in. Okay. The door was locked and I couldn't get in. Now we're using either ser o estar and poder. Mm -hmm. I would say la puerta estaba cerrada con llave, locked, y no pude entrar. Ajá. Uh -huh. Optional on that is no podía entrar. Okay. That's another option, y no podía entrar. The difference mm -hmm. is, if Cynthia said no pude entrar, she didn't enter. She couldn't and she didn't. Yeah, no pude, that's the preterite version. No podía, uh, I was having problems. Yeah, but we don't know if, if you got in in the end. Yeah. Numero cinco. Melissa was very anxious and didn't want to leave the house. Ooh. So that's either este, estar or ser. You've got to decide. And querer. So. Cynthia. Melissa estaba muy nerviosa. Y no quería salir de casa. Ok. So, estaba. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Nerviosa. Would ansiosa work, is there, work with ansiosa, that? Ansiosa, sí. Uh -huh. I, I don't know if it's, you mean the same, it means the same in English and Spanish. Ansioso. Anxious, kind of worried about the future. Um, and you can also be ansioso for something to happen. Ah, like, okay. I can't wait for that to happen. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Um, okay. So pues, nervios, eh, nerviosa is pues the one that you... Yeah, nervioso. Okay. But I mean, ansioso. And we could say ansiedad. Tengo ansiedad. Mm -hmm. And you said no quería salir. No quería. O oh, no quiso. Again, mm -hmm. it could be both. But if I didn't have any more context, no quería. So no quería was her intention. She didn't want to leave. No quiso. She didn't. She didn't And leave. she didn't leave. She didn't want to and she didn't. Predators always acted upon. Mm -hmm. Okay? Exacto. Numero seis. She was happy for a while. And now we're going to use ser o estar. You've got to decide. And obviously, preterite or imperfect. Fue feliz durante un tiempo. O estuvo contenta durante un tiempo. O durante un rato. O un rato. Mm. So if you notice that Cynthia, even though she used ser and estar, she used preterite in both. Why? Because we've got for a while. Mm -hmm. If a you while. measure it, you've got a preterite. You've got no choice. Yeah. So the, uh, and the difference between ser feliz and estar contento is ser feliz is you, the, the happiness that you carry inside of you as a person. And estar contento is just this temporary happiness that goes up and down. Yeah? Description of the person or mood. Or mood, mm -hmm. exactly. Okay, numero siete. Whilst I was in my friend's house, we would say at in the northeast, whilst I was at my friend's house, whilst I was in my friend's house, I noticed that they always had the TV on. And so we've got estar o ser, to be in my friend's house, whilst I was in my friend's house, and then darse cuenta, and tener. Mientras estaba en la casa de mi amigo, me di cuenta de que siempre tenían la televisión encendida. Mm -hmm. Okay. But I could also, I could have also said mientras estuve. That's if it's a specific time. Mm -hmm. um, me di cuenta de que tenían la televisión encendida. Okay. And could you say uh, me daba cuenta mientras estaba? Me daba, or is it better me di cuenta? Uh, in this case, I would say me di cuenta, but again, the, that they always had the TV on. Do I mean in general, or do I mean while I was there? Mm -hmm. Depends I mean, on things the that context. you could depend, depend, depending on what you mean. Exactly. Um, so, because I have no more context, just the sentence, then I would say siempre tenían, like as a regular thing, instead of uh, as opposed to while I was there. Yeah. 
Yes, and only while I was there. That's a quintess to realize. So that tends to lend itself to the preterite because you realize. When you realize, you realize, mm -hmm. don't you? Like a one off realization. Uh -huh. Yeah. It's rather than I was realizing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Numero ocho. What happened was that he came late or he arrived late. What, what happened was that he came late and that's pasar. Then you've got to decide ser o estar and then llegar. Cynthia. Eh, lo que pasó, o solo que ocurrió, if you want to use ocurrir, lo que pasó fue que él llegó tarde. Ok. Pasó, fue, llegó. Mm -hmm. Three Cu pregnant. Cuidado con ese dedo. ¿Eh? <laughs> lo que está... <laughs> Has hecho I've, el got, I've got the other two. Right. <laughs> Three preterites in a row. Why? Because we're talking about a list of actions. What happened was that he arrived late. Yeah, late. Okay? So all preterite. Listing. Yeah? That's right. Nice. Bien. And yeah. fue que was that. Not estuvo que. Fue que. Okay? Said. We're describing what happened. Okay. So, numero nueve. The restaurant was on the coast and we would eat there every weekend. So we've got ser o estar and we've got comer. Okay. We have a big giveaway here because when, when in English you use a would in the past, referring to a past event, that's imperfect in Spanish, okay? When, and, uh, and we would eat there every weekend, yeah? Would, referring to the past, is imperfect. Hmm. So, el restaurante estaba en la costa y comíamos allí cada fin de semana. Okay, so we're using estar, okay, because we're talking about location, and we're using imperfect. Why? Because we're referring to the, this every weekend. This is where it was, and this is what we did every weekend, yeah? We, we won't use estuvo en la costa, because if we say that, then it's not there anymore. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're describing it. It's probably, it might still be there. Yeah. So we're just describing what, where it was, yeah? And then we would eat there. If you can replace would with used to, then you know it's imperfect. Exactly, yeah? yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, muy bien. Muy bien. Y el último. Número diez. The parties of my youth. Oh, oh wow. Oh, <laughs> oh. We're very good. And there was always diverse people there. Well, there were always diverse people there. I there were. Say. Yeah. That could probably was me when okay. I wrote it. Okay. So, ser o estar and then a ver. Mm -hmm. Las fiestas de mi juventud eran muy buenas y siempre había gente diversa allí o okay. personas diferentes allí. O... Sí. So, the parties of my youth were, eran, eran. Why? Well, because we're describing what they used to be like. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is imperfect. And obviously, we don't, we're not going to use estar, okay? We're using ser because this is a description, this is a permanent trait of the party. This is what the parties were like, okay? And then, mm -hmm. había, because we're, we're using, there, there were always people there. Ongoing, always, yeah? It wasn't a one-off thing with the preterite. And also another thing that catches people, there was. They don't seem to, they, they go for was, and they don't realize it's that there was. Exactly. And it's the había. Uh -huh. it's, it's the same all the way through. Uh -huh. When you hear there is, there are, that's, I, there was, there were, había. Eso okay, es. so you've got to be so careful. So, de haber. O, o mm -hmm. hubo, but obviously mm -hmm. that's, that's different. Muy okay, bien. pues muy bien. Perfecto. Eso es todo. Son diez preguntas. ¿Qué tal? In, eh, nivel intermedio, ¿no? Cindia? Nivel intermedio, sí. Algunas eran más complicadas que otras, sí. pero nivel, nivel intermedio, diría sí, yo. Sí, claro. Mm -hmm. Tienes que haber estudiado el pasado, claro, por ejemplo. El, el pretérito y el imperfecto 
tienen que resultarte familiares claro, para claro. hacer este test. Entonces, sí. por eso creo que intermedio uh -huh. eh, es un buen nivel. Claro. Uh -huh. Y este libro es, aparte del, del libro sobre el, el subjuntivo, este es el libro más popular entre uh -huh. todos los, los libros que eso hemos es. hecho. Sí. sí. Bien, pues eso es todo. ¿Tienes algo que decir antes de irte, Cintia? Nada más, nada más, no, no. nada más que decir. Una mujer de pocas palabras. Hoy, hoy de pocas palabras, de no pocas hace palabras. falta hablar. Está lloviendo horrible afuera. Vale, chicos, eso es todo. Ahora nos vamos. Y nos vemos. Hasta luego, adiós. adiós.